Okay guys, so for my final project, I decided to go with a turn on an alien that's been chopped up. So this is kind of what my design is going to look like. Um, I decided to go with make my whole face blue because I really wanted to overemphasize like the alien look. Um, yeah, so here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to make the three slits on my face. So here's our first little gash, as you can see, off my forehead. So I got this going on on this side. I'm going to put this slit on the cheek here, right here. And then I'm going to put the mouth prop piece right here, um, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, guys, I just want to check back in. Here's my second slit. There's some to give you a little what it looks like on the side of my face. And now I'm going to do the third one right here where it makes my mouth look like that. Okay, guys, just checking back in. I can't really move my mouth a whole much because this is connected to it. But as I already showed you guys, here it is again. Oops, so sorry. Here it is again. So I'm going to do this slit right here is what I just did on the side of my mouth. So now that I've got all of the slits on my face, I'm going to go in, I'm going to prime it, and then I'm going to completely cover my face with blue. And there we go. So I went with like a battered look. As you can see, it's um, different tones. Uh, that's intentional. It's to give the whole beaten up look, which as you see, I have cuts and bruises. Um, so yeah, we're going to continue. Okay guys, so I have the slits on my face now. I'm going to go in and I'm going to now apply shading to my cuts. Color. This is the FX Colors Wheel for bruises and abrasions. But I'm going to go in with the red. I'm going to just kind of apply it to the lines up here on um, the cuts. And then I'm going to go in with, in a little bit with some blood. So, stay tuned. Going in now with a little bit of red. So now I've kind of got these cuts filled in. Um, definitely not the final look. I'm going to go in with false blood. And um, I'm not blacking out my eye, but I will close my eye to appear to give that large, non-human like eye. Okay, so now 
We have two alien eyeballs on. Um, once that dries, I'm going to go in with a little liner um, just to over-dramatize them. Okay, now we're back with the Benai Dark Blood. So we're going to go in and we're going to put it in all these little spaces to make it look chopped up even more. Now I've got a fake blood on. As you can see, I've got it dripping out a little bit. Obviously, I want it to look cut up. Um, so I'm going to go in now and kind of just put it around, you know, the tops, the bottoms, because cuts are never clean. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's go in, just apply it on top, on bottom, everywhere that I can apply it. eyeliner pencil and now I'm going to eyeline my eyeballs. Okay, now that those are outlined, you can definitely tell they're a little better. I'm going to outline the tiny little ones on the side of my face. Okay, now also now I'm going to go into my neck and make myself have a really tiny skinny neck. Okay, so as you can see, I have the illusion neck on right now. I'm going to go in now. I'm going to take the blue that I've hide all over my face, apply it to my neck. So I'm going to go change into a black shirt now so I can show you guys the illusion. See a little better what I did on my cuts. And I am a chopped up alien. <laughs> 